Hey guys, Merrick77 here. I'm back from the uh, the fucking store. Uh, I got the new uh, sensor eye thing. Right there's the new one. Right here's the old one. Came with a bunch of brackets. Looks like it was for a universal application. They probably rate me on the price. 30 bucks, including tax. Probably could have went to Lowe's and got it. I have no idea. But um, 30 bucks is 30 bucks. Fuck it. It was a local hardware store. Uh, I originally went to the plumbing plumbing supply, but uh, it was a wholesale store, so they don't do cash sales. So I had to go to the hardware store and have the hardware store order it through them, and then I pay the hardware store, and then I could pick up the fucking part. So the hardware store obviously marked it up. I probably should have gotten this for like 15 or 20 bucks and the hardware store probably doubled the fucking price on me. But um, what can you do? It's a local business, so might as well support the local guys instead of giving it to fucking whatever, even though this was probably made in fucking Japan. Um, I'm gonna pop this fucker in there and uh, fill up the whole system, make sure there's no air bubbles in it and whatnot. And fire it up. It should fucking work. And we'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know. Hey guys. Check it out. Gotta zip tie that wire back up. And uh, put the cover back on it. But she's working. She is fucking working. Thank you guys for your input. I really appreciate it. Uh, as soon as I fucking saw that wire, I'm like, I could have done this a couple days ago, but you know, I didn't have the time to fucking do it. I wanted to get that truck in and out. Everything was trying to stop me. One thing after another, it just kept trying to fucking fuck with me and make me not get that truck done, you know? First it was the heat, second was the fucking fish eyes on those little fucking digs I was telling you guys about. Third was the fucking plastic on top of the fucking hood. Everything was just trying to fuck me and try to not let me get shit done. I just kept putting my foot up their ass and saying, fuck you, I'm, do I'm doing it. So uh, I just used my space heater and kept plugging away, you know? But now, it's all good. I got it running on straight kerosene right now. And you know, I forget who it was, but somebody had commented about uh, the multi-fuel use on the heaters. On like these style heaters here, where you can't vent them outside, which is why I love this heater, because all the fumes are outside and nothing but, like, look. Nothing but hot air comes out of this baby. Um, He's mentioning about how kerosene, when you burn kerosene, it's supposed to be cleaner and blah, 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 blah. But uh, he was saying that when he puts diesel in it, it actually doesn't give you as bad of headaches and it doesn't smell as bad. It makes your eyes burn. And I will agree with that because uh, this big heater here in the window, uh, the one that's outside, we've always run that on diesel. So when this heater took a shit, I took the diesel from that fucking heater and I dumped it in my little guy. And when I dumped it in my little guy, I noticed that it, uh, it seemed to burn even better, like hotter and I didn't get the headaches and my eyes weren't burning as much. Like it doesn't matter either way with this heater, when you try to enclose an area like this and you try to make it airtight, that shit still burns your eyes and shit. But uh, if you're like out in a garage and you got that pointed where you're working and you don't have to be around the fumes, it's perfect. It keeps you warm out, outside even. If you have it blowing on your area, it'll definitely keep you warm. But uh, I'm gonna agree with that, that the diesel, if you burn diesel in those instead of kerosene, it's, it doesn't seem to be as fuming, which is fucking weird. Cause like that guy was saying before, uh, when you think about diesel trucks, they stink like shit. 
Let me turn this heater off before I waste all my kerosene. But yeah, guys, that shit's working. But uh, it was it was amazing because you know you think diesel trucks, diesels burn like shit and smell like ass, but if you have one of those little fucking salamander heaters and the kerosene's fucking with you. Go get yourself a couple gallons of diesel and run it through it and see if that works. I believe diesel is cheaper than kerosene too. Um, just give her a try. Because either way, you got to fucking burn it, right? So just try a couple gallons and see if she fucking works better. But uh, I did notice that, and it's strange that you said that. Um, but yeah, guys, got the furnace running. Happy, 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 joy, joy. And uh, truck's fucking gone. Truck is gone. I got my beer, and uh, it's all good in the hood right now. I'll tell you that. And uh, I'm making steaks tonight for dinner, not on the smoker, but on the barbecue grill. There's the little baby. Hi, baby. Hello, Agatha. Hi. What are you playing with a spatula? Are you playing peekaboo? Peekaboo! 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 Go like this. Hey, where's your ear? Why don't you show everybody where your ear is? Yeah, yeah, you want camera attention too, don't you? Good boy, good boy. Yeah. Hey, where's your ear? Agatha. Agatha. Hey. Hey, where's your ear? Mommy. Where's your ear? Mommy. No, mommy. Where's your ear? Mommy. No. Where's your ear? Where's your ear? Mommy. Where's your feet? There's your feet. Yep. Hey, Agatha. Where's your mouth? Dad, dad. Dad, dad. Where's your mouth? Dad. Oh, well. But uh, I'll talk to you later, guys. Thank you for your help.